hey folks, it's your favorite. And when you do that and you're not and you're gonna cut it anyhow, just stop and redo it. Oh you dirty rotten bull, bull how could you break off? You dirty rotten mother oh, Dirty rotten, how dare you break it, oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Son of a... Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Jesus! No wonder I'm the disc roll mechanic! Hey, folks! It's your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the disc mechanic. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go over... My Maxi TPMS TS401 for programming, the reprogramming tires on a vehicle. Uh, I previously did a video where I actually showed how to do it on my 2011 Volt without using uh, the tool. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to use the tool. I bought it. Yeah. And actually on eBay, you know, they're, they're decently priced. If you don't do it often, it's one thing. But with my Volt here, um, I just rotated the tires again because it's actually wearing sort of funny. On the, uh, the front tires are wearing odd. I had it aligned. The alignment wasn't out, so I'm not sure what's doing it. So to try and get more out of my tires, I actually am going to uh, rotate them more often. Hence, getting the tool. It's the, and, and after I thought about it, it's really the only vehicle that I have that needs the tool. But... You can never have too many tools. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you how this works. And as I said, it's a little different than um, the manual procedure. It's much quicker. Uh, you know, it, not not that it's that bad doing it the other way. If you don't have the other, if you don't have the tool, that's fine. You know, at least you can get it done. But um, okay, I'm going to show you the tool here, how it sets up, what it'll do, and then we will actually go to doing the uh, reprogramming of the tire pressure monitor sensors. So here's the tool and uh, basically you can see what it is. It's the Maxi TPMS TS401. Uh, first thing you do of course is turn it on. I'll get it out of the box here. I'll try not to be shaky. I hate shaky video. I just hate it. So first off what you do is you got your vehicle selection and you hit yes. Um, I'm going to set this down to do this because then I only have to hold one thing. So you got your yes. So then we're going to scroll down. Oops. <laughs> Let's scroll up the Chevrolet. Oops. Looking for Volt. Got to get the make first. So, do, 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 do. there's probably a faster way to do this too. But So Chevrolet. Yes. Um, all the way down to the bottom now for the volt. Oops, passed it. Okay, volt. Yes, did you see I could go back on that? All right, and it's a 2011. Yes. All right. So what I like about this is. Now it's telling you what to do and how to set all IDs and everything, but the nice thing is this question mark, because if you don't know how to actually start the programming sequence, you hit the question mark. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> no relearn information. Well, hmm, gee. So it doesn't work with that, with the Volt. As you can see, I didn't do it. I haven't used it on my Volt yet. So this is what you get into. Um, I did do 2013 trucks at work because I have the same tool at work. And it did have the information for that. But the Volt is relatively easy. If you watched my last video, you know there's not too much to doing it. Um, we'll go in and we'll do that quick. You just go into the dash, press a few buttons. We'll go through all that. Actually, the Volt's one of the simplest with the, with the display on it. So let's go in and um, we'll do that. But this tool is actually ready right now. So I'll sort of leave this like this. We'll go over and we'll set the dash and then we'll hop out and um, we'll do it. So we're inside the car and uh, to do this I'm thinking I have to turn the car on 
Uh, yeah, press brake to start. Actually, there's a test mode in this where you don't have to start it, and that's just holding the button in, and it's sort of a diagnostic mode. I think it'll do it in that, so let's, let's see if I hold it long enough. Okay, there it fired up. Uh, sorry for the dinging and everything, but um, okay, over here you have a button, and I think we hit the configure. Uh, nope, let's see. Let's hit the select. Let's hit the select. Mm, maybe I'll have to look this procedure up because I honestly do forget how to do it. I thought I knew how to start this. Um, and maybe you can't do it in this mode either. Uh, back, select. Um, all right, I am going to have to look the procedure up. And I will be back when I figure out um, how to do it. And like I said, maybe I can't even do it in this mode. But um, I'll actually have to get the owner's manual out or go look at my other video to see how to set this up to do it. Be back. Okay, so I was at the right place. But according to the instructions, all I have to do is press and hold the select mode to get it into programming for five seconds. There you go. Are you sure you want to relearn? So you go up to yes. Now that means it's ready. So now what we're going to do is get out of the car and we now, we now tell this, do you want to trigger all IDs? And you tell it yes. Um, oh, nah, crap. Uh, trigger, I'm sorry. So you go to trigger which is your like your wireless connection so now it's telling you where to go which is the front left so you come to the front left and you put it there you put it next to that that programmed your front left now you go to your next one which I didn't notice but one of my viewers John Rushing and subscribers pointed this out it'll actually light that light on the other side of the car on the mirror and in the front um, I don't think if the front's brighter or not. It looks it. But and the mirror of what one you're supposed to go to next. So now we go to the next one. And which of course is our front right. And we're going to hold that and hit the trigger again. So now the front right's done. Now if you see, look at that, isn't that pretty cool? I didn't notice this when I did it, but now it got your rear right lit up. So we're going to come down to the tool. We're going to go to that. Rear right. Now that one it did pretty quickly. And see, it gives you the pressure, the PSI, and everything if you want it. So now, as you see, the other one's lit up. So we'll come over here, and we'll hold that. Now, okay, now what the double beep is, it doesn't mean AMCO, double A-A-M-C-O. Uh, I'm probably dating myself there. But anyhow, it doesn't mean that. It means that your programming's done. So if you hop back in, um, okay, I thought it gave you a message saying it was complete, but that's what your double beep is, that your programming is complete. So as you can see, that's a little bit slicker and a little bit quicker, um, sorry about that going round and round, uh, than actually doing, doing it by bleeding the air out. You don't have to put any more air in, you don't have to do any of that, you're good to go. Okay, folks, so there you have it. That's, uh reprogramming my uh, TPMS on my Volt with the TS-401. Like I said, you can, you know, I have no money, no stake in this, but um, you can actually get this on eBay for a relatively good price. I think I paid $138 for it, which, you know, was a pretty cut rate price. Um, and, you know, it, it works. So that's the thing. So if you want to know how to use one or you're interested in one, there it is. I recommend it. You see how quickly it went works on you know a lot of different vehicles um, I've only used it on the two but it works on different vehicles so once again 
this is your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic, saying, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Till next time, folks.